I was always a pretty heavy kid growing up, but when I was around 14, 15 years old, I started dealing with severe anxiety. It got to the point where obviously I couldn't talk to people that I considered friends or people outside of my home at all. I could not hold a conversation. I couldn't look at them in the eye. My hands would start sweating. I would start shaking. I didn't know what to do. I started overthinking about everything. And it even got to the point where I couldn't even hold a conversation with my family because I was overthinking so much. And there was a lot of times where I was questioning why I was alive. I was questioning, why am I here? What is the purpose of me even being here? I feel like I don't belong. I feel like I can't talk to people. I can't function around people. I'm always overthinking. I think this person's mad at me. I think this person is talking about me. And I can't even be myself around myself. I can't even be myself with anybody around me. I don't even know who I am. And I felt so scared to be around people. And I felt even more scared if I had to talk to people. And some of the ways that I learned on how to deal with anxiety changed my life. And it was a lot easier for me to actually function and to be a better person overall, but to actually be confident and to value myself and to believe in myself. And I dealt with this until I was around 17 years old. And it got a little bit better. I tried all of the stuff. I tried talking to people and it didn't really do anything. But when I was 18 years old, I got a door knocking job. And I knew that me getting this door knocking job, obviously I can make some money, but I knew that me knocking on doors was gonna force me to talk to people and I would have to talk to people. And that is exactly what I did. I had so many anxiety attacks with this door knocking job, but I knew that if I kept pushing forward, if I kept knocking on doors and I kept forcing myself to talk to people, even if I memorize the script, I'm going to get a lot better at talking to people. I'm going to get used to doors getting slammed in my face. I'm going to get used to people shouting at me, yelling at me, telling me to back off and to leave. And that is exactly what happened. It got easier and easier for me to talk to people and to hold a conversation. And it was extremely difficult at first. I wanted to quit so bad, but I knew that if I stuck with this, that it would change my life. And that is exactly what it did. And there are sometimes and I think it depends on everybody. There are some times that you don't need little steps at a time in order to get over your anxiety. There are some times that we have to jump in the deep end and we have to stay in the deep end until we get used to being in the deep end and we're no longer scared being in the deep end. And I know this doesn't apply to everybody, but in this particular scenario and the situation of my life and struggle in my life, that is exactly what I needed and that is what changed my life because I tried incremental stuff and it was not working. But throwing myself in the deep end, that changed my life. And after that, I was able to start trying incremental stuff. But at that point, I needed to jump in immediately. And when I stuck with it and I kept pushing forward, no matter how many anxiety attacks I had, no matter how many times I cried, no matter how many times I was shaking and sweating, and I kept pushing forward, that is how I began my journey of overcoming anxiety and I was able to deal with it way better and I actually had a grip on dealing with anxiety. It no longer affected me as much because I overcame all of these fears and now I could start working on the little things. And since then I have been working on the little things and that has, when I got that door knocking job at 18, that is what changed my life. That is what got me to the point where I could manage my anxiety and I could start overcoming my anxiety a lot better because I defeated the biggest giant. And that was by throwing myself in the deep end. So I hope that this really short video of me talking about how I've managed my anxiety and started overcoming the majority of my anxiety was by jumping into the deep end. I hope that this makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know. I am happy to answer them. But that wraps up this video. If you got any value, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.